Morning guys, my name is Matthew and I gotta get ready for work. All right, what's going on guys? Um, just got ready and I'm about to head out to work. I'm literally, I'm not running too far behind, but I better get there so I can get myself a vehicle and um, um, a Leo scanner so I can get my day started. If you don't know, I work a PM route at FedEx Express and I'm just gonna be showing you what my day pretty much, um, how it goes. Not the whole day, I wouldn't say, cause it does get busy. Um, we're currently about to hit December. We're in the last week of uh, November, so it's going to, it definitely will get crazy. I'm just preparing for it. Yesterday was kind of bad already. Um, not bad as in like a bad day. It was just package wise was a lot of work and it kind of set me far behind, but. And we're off. I live about 15 minutes away from the station. So it's not uh, not too far. My actual schedule time when I got hired wasn't gonna be until one o'clock. Uh, currently it's 10.35. I have to go in a little early because uh, my, my route's a little bit more busier than others. As I was told, it was one of the busiest in the, uh, in the warehouse. So it's just good to know that I can actually handle that just in case I do want to switch routes after my six months is up with this. And if I want to stay or if I want to change it, um, I can bid for another route. Um, so with FedEx Express, I know some people were wondering um, like when the pay is. Sorry, my hands are like destroyed from work. Uh, so the pay, it, from Texas at least from what I know, it ranges between um, like 18 to 21 dollars so and that that still varies it just depends I think it honestly depends on what route you get um, I'm still trying to figure it out myself you do get paid every week though um, you get paid overtime um, days that you're not supposed like scheduled to work and they ask you to come in you go and work um, you can't work more than 12 hours a day so a lot of people that i know that work there i don't i usually don't work 12 hours a day because um we usually finish by 9 30 i think the latest i've been there is 10 or 10 30 uh, but you can always find work to stay there if you want but usually like all the package handling stuff when i come back to the warehouse um, they usually finish about 9 30 and there's not really much for me to do unless i ask so i just kind of go home i get it usually around nine hours to close to 11 hours um a day on average i haven't hit that 12 hour mark yet but um it you know it's money at the end of the day and you get, you get paid for it so we got to get it while we can because especially around the, this time of season it's it's super busy and we don't know what what to expect at least i don't know what to expect coming from uh Amazon, we knew it was already gonna be crazy and um, delivery wise, but since I don't have any deliveries and I'm picking up, it's a little bit different. Um, I, I just don't know how to do that because with any company that I've worked with, it's only been deliveries. I've never had to pick up. Maybe I'd pick up like one box that was like misdelivered and I'd bring it back to the, to the station, but uh, other than that, no never had to so i don't know what to expect yeah, it makes me a little nervous in a way because uh how of how big my route is but um luckily our dispatch is pretty good uh you know asking us if we need any help or anything like that and so far i haven't 
but the way it's getting I'm assuming that I'm gonna need a lot of help so um, just thought I'd throw that in there before I show you everything else just got my equipment it took way longer than usual and that's just because there's just, there's just not enough equipment for the amount of you know employees we have and it's uh sometimes it can get really bad luckily i'm gonna leave it at a pretty good time but uh i'll show you more when i get inside the u-haul so i started my route and i was kind of busy i don't have much to show for it though uh it, usually how it works here at fedex express we have timed uh stops so we have to be there at a certain uh a certain time and if it ready time and an end time so i had to make sure i get those ready ones out the way that way they don't hit me on break right now um this is what they'll be giving you you'll use that to scan your packages um so far just from my few stops it hasn't looked too busy quite surprised for it being you know tuesday and the last week of thanksgiving um usually people are already starting to order a lot of packages but um, hasn't looked too bad. I actually do have a problem though. Um, and I don't know if I did this or somebody else did. I just didn't see. I usually look around the vehicle to make sure it's good because you're supposed to do a pre-inspection. And do my, I guess the sun was hitting the windshield a certain way and I was looking at it. I uh, didn't see anything, but now that I'm driving it, and I don't really, I don't even know if I was behind a truck or anything, but there's, it's a little bit cracked and you're supposed to not even take the vehicle out if it is so i already text my manager just to let them know and hopefully i don't get in trouble for it because you know at the end at the end of the day i didn't hit anything it looks like um somebody might have been driving it got you know it got hit so but just here um waiting for my next pickup i'll see if i can get some footage of any of my pickups before the end of the day i've done about six so far six or seven and i have they usually total about 40 to 50 at the end of the day so we'll see what happens and i'll let you know what my manager says about the windshield because hopefully i'm hoping they'll, they'll just let me use the vehicle for the rest of the day and then, then they'll fix it tomorrow instead of me having to wait for a truck swap or anything like that that would suck so all right i'll see you guys later all right i am back it's currently about to be five in about two minutes um got through my busy time i couldn't record any of it because it's just it was just boom boom go in and out and now on uh, these uh a lot of these places you know you don't have too much time to conversate you just got to go in and get your packages high and by um right now it gets it starts to slow down um my last pickup is at 7 p.m which is a fedex office uh and if I'm not running behind, I usually, that will be my my last stop. Uh, I have a couple of drop boxes, which those um, I have all day to get. And pretty much those drop boxes, I can pick up any time after, I think six o'clock is when I can start picking them up. So if I'm super busy, I'll just skip them and save them for the end. Um, if, I'm, if I have a, a good amount of time, I'll pick them up you know at the time that they that they uh they allow me to so um uh, it's it's not too bad it was actually a really good day uh i don't i don't think i said when well, my manager he um just wanted me to write it down make sure that this window gets fixed so that was good i didn't want to have to do a truck swap because that just causes too many headaches when you get back to the station and you gotta look for your peg if you don't know what a peg is it's what you use to uh to get your truck so you put that in to get your keys and you have to make sure you get your peg back at the end of the day um but yeah overall pretty good i'm about to start getting on the road again and driving so i'll see you in a little bit well it change it'll change in a week so <laughs> Alright, it's getting dark.
dark, but I thought I'd show you what I've picked up so far. I've got about 10 stops, 10 to 9 stops left, so we're getting close to the end of the day. Thank goodness, because today was just, even though it was, it was easy, it just wasn't my day, honestly. Kind of tired, so that's what it looks like. I know the lighting is way up, but it's it's currently dark outside, pretty much pitch black. Um, just wanted to hop on here and say, you know, I do appreciate the job. Um, I think it's really good. It's at my own pace. I, uh, as long as I get the job done, you know, I don't really hear much from anybody. Uh, that could be a good or bad thing because I know some people can get really bored. Um, I keep myself occupied, uh, listen to podcast, uh, music, you know, when I'm feeling really good, uh, and just thinking of like a, pretty much a side business. I'm planning on starting a side business. I know it's super dark in here, but, um, it's, uh, it's a, it's a good job. I, I do really like it. I was kind of nervous at first, didn't know what to expect. Uh, it came from Amazon. So with Amazon, it was, I knew it was crazy and I just kind of thought it was going to follow, follow those footsteps and being just really rapid and uh, not being able to take a break and using the bathroom and bottles, you know, and all that crazy stuff that you've heard is, is true. It's, um, I, you know, I don't, I didn't mind Amazon. I still stayed there as long as I could, but I'm glad I found FedEx Express because it's just, it's a lot more um, where I just don't feel like I'm always on the go. I mean, I have those moments for sure. Don't get me, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, I keep a good pace. And as long as I keep that good pace, I don't gotta worry about anything else, you know, for the most part. Uh, today was a good day. I'm gonna show you uh, maybe one of my drop boxes, uh, see how that looks. And then um, I'm gonna call it a day. I won't show the warehouse because um, with the warehouse, it, it, there's a lot of people there and it's busy. I'm usually busy. And uh, yesterday was pretty crazy. Today, you know, knowing how my route is being one of the heaviest is not that much today. Uh, it might be a pretty good day back at the warehouse. So I might help out for a little bit and then um, either stay and just finish with them or if I'm feeling really tired, I'll probably just clock out. Um, but yeah. All right, I know it's dark and you probably can't see anything at all, but essentially all you do is you get here to the Dropbox, you get in your phone and it has an unlock. You put it next to it, get a little chime. Let's see what we got in here. We got some packages. Let's go ahead and scan those. Alright. 